Our first presentation today is brought to you by Bilibili, the largest and the most influential video sharing website based in China. It is already past midnight there, and I truly appreciate our speaker's enthusiasm to stay up so late today so that they can provide our audience with this live experience. So we have here is Lei Li and Zifan Ni from Bilibili. Both Lei and Zifan are senior software engineers working at Bilibili's AI platform. So let's hear from Lei and Zifan on building an efficient AI training platform at Bilibili with Alexio. Take it away. Hello everyone, this is Lei and Zifan from Bilibili. Today we are very glad to share our practice on building our AI platform with Alexio at Bilibili. Before we go into that, let us introduce ourselves. I used to work at Microsoft Azure and now I'm working at Bilibili, focusing on building an efficient AI platform for our business. Also, I have wide interest in cloud tech stack, such as Kubernetes, ML Ops, Serverless, and so on. In my spare time, I like traveling, playing poker, and jogging. It's your turn. I'm Zifan, and this is my cute puppy, Da Vinci. He got this name because his mother is named as Renances. I used to work at Microsoft Azure Storage and join the machine learning platform at Bilibili about half a year ago, mainly responsible for data layer. In my spare time, I really enjoy cooking, making and tasting cocktail, and playing video game. I'm so excited that technology connects us and we together as a community to promote the technology develop. Okay. Now let's get into our talk. Bilibili is a leading video community in China. Its monthly active users reached 230 million in the last financial report. Our vision is to enrich daily life of younger generation in China. Bilibili Course is our cloud native platform built on Kubernetes. It supports various business within Bilibili, such as ads, CV, NLP, speech, e-commerce, and so on. This slide shows Koi's architecture. Our platform provides service including model development, model training, model storage, and model serving. Our platform is built on Kubernetes, integrated with several open source projects. For example, Volcano is a batch system which is widely used in the machine learning HPC and big data areas. Vertical part autoscatter is a controller that frees the users from necessity of setting up to date resource limits and requests for the containers in their parts. And Hawkeye is Bilibili's cloud native observability and monitoring system. Our platform mainly uses two kinds of storage, OSS and HDFS. And Alexo and Fluid is our glue layer between computer layer and storage layer. Fluid is a Kubernetes operator for Alexo deployment. It's a sandbox project in CNCF nowadays. We leverage Fluid's power to operate our Alexo clusters. Now let's talk about why we need Alexo and Fluid. I will list two typical scenarios. When training the model, many users firstly download the data into the container and then reading data locally. It won't hurt when everything runs normally. However, if the container crashes, the data will be lost and has to be downloaded again. It usually takes several minutes to re-download the data. Here is a more typical case. Users need more data to train their models, but the data is too large to fit into one single machine. So they have to consume data in a pipe way. They need to write different APIs for different storage. And also they have to handle the retry and reconnection logic. To sum it up, we need a cache that is distributed and can hide all the details. Here comes Lexio and Fluid. Lexio can hold data in distributed workers. It can hide the storage details and allow users to read remote data like it's on the local disk. 
Here we seem to reach our purpose. But as you know, Alexio is a giant machine that needs to be tuned very well in practice. So next part, Zifang will share our practice with Alexio. Zifang, it's your turn. Okay, thanks, Lei. Uh, so in this part, I will introduce the serverless fuse mode, which was originally created by us and has been widely used at Bilibili. Due to the mechanism of fuse, fuse has to be on the same node with training container and has to be started before training pod. There are two ways to deploy fuse port. One is to start fuse on the same node with worker or to start fuse on all nodes. But both ways have their drawback. Let me use that picture to demonstrate that. We have two machines, GPU0 and GPU1. Port 0 currently takes the GPU resource on GPU0. As we deploy Alasio, worker and fuse now run on GPU0. While port 1 using Alasio could only wait for port 0, releasing resource before it can run. Unless we deploy fuse on all nodes, the availability of service can be quite low if resources are not enough. Deployment of fuse on all machines could lead to huge waste of resources. Therefore, we choose to use serverless fuse. So, what is serverless fuse? To sum it up in one sentence, it is to use fuse as the sidecar container of the training task to ensure that the fuse and the training task retain the same life circle and reside in the same node. Let's take a look at the more detailed implementation. So everything starts when the user creates a task. The AI platform will form and inject the user sidecar container to the training pod. And the fuse container will mount the fuse path to host path in a bi-directional way. At the same time, two processes will be started in the fuse container. The first one watches the life circle of the main container and stops the fuse container after main container exists. The second one checks whether the fuse process is healthy and restarts fuse if necessary. Then the application container mount host paths into container in R3 mode to access Alasio for data. As Lei mentioned before, we encounter lots of problems in landing Alasio. Here I want to share some useful experience on tuning Alasio. While using Alasio, we found that the main challenge comes from the scale of metadata, which is decided by the number of files stored in Alasio. When the scale of data reaches 10 million, it is almost impossible to use Alasio with the default configuration. By monitoring, we found that master's memory usage stays at a very high level, and the Java stopboard GC occurs too frequently because that it causes multiple downtime of Alasio master service. So the solution contains two parts. The first one is to modify the GC setting of Java. The number of stop of the GC can be reduced by limiting max GC post million seconds and by lifting parallel GC threads count. Meanwhile, we should at least uplift memory of master to four kilobytes multiple by the number of files. Even if the parameters are, adjust, are adjusted, stopboard GC is still unavoidable in some tasks with relatively large load. In this case, some requests from fuse were timed out and failed the training task. <clears throat> in this case, we need to extend the retry period of the fuse request and reduce the retry interval to avoid too much pressure. As we noticed that performance was very poor when re reading bunches of small files, the problem can be resolved by upgrading Alasio version to 2.6.2 or higher. In this section, I will introduce two practical application scenario of Alasio at Bilibili. In this <coughs> In, in these two scenarios, we support high-speed or large-scale training with Alasio, which are otherwise difficult to achieve. The first example is an audio language recognition mode. This training uses four NVIDIA V100 GPU. The total number of files is 2.55 million, and the total, number, total size is about 800 gigabytes. The user creates two Alasio workers as caches. Each worker has 500 gigabytes storage. 
Before Alasio, we mainly used three S3 fuels for training. The training took about 242 hours, which is about 10 days. If there are multiple fuels accessing the same data source at the same time, the performance will further decrease. With Alasio, time consumption is shortened to 64 hours, which is only 29% compared to the S3 fuels. There is no decrease in performance when multiple tasks reading Alasio at the same time. We can see from that table that reading speed is almost the same as using local SSD. Considering the time it takes to pull data to the local SSD, Alasio has a very obvious accelerating in computing. Another case is video portrait matting. The training also uses four NVIDIA V100 GPU in order to achieve better training results. Engineers need to perform large-scale cross-training. This training requires 50 epochs involving 20 million files whose total size nearly reached 2 terabytes. So the user created four Alasio workers instance with 600 gigabyte storage. Such training was impossible before because there is currently no machine that could meet both the requirements of disk and the GPU. And the S3 fields has a huge variance in assessing time for this level of metadata. After using Alasio, one epoch can be trained in about 18 hours. From the intermediate results of the model, the IOU of portrait matting can be improved by 2%. Okay, and this is all for today's sharing. I would like to take this opportunity and sincerely thank Lu Qiu, engineer of Alasio. Her serious work attitude and superb technical ability help us resolve a lot of problems encountered during the landing. At the same time, I also thank Xiao Sun, Jiang Jia Chen Liu, and Yong Yang from Alasio for their help. We also appreciate helping from Yang Che, the maintainer of the fluid community. At the same time, I would like to thank Bao Yu Chen and Xin Gui Zeng, the owner of two cases introduced just now. They contribute valuable feedbacks during the landing of Alasio, while Alasio helps them to complete the training more efficiently. Although we are thousand miles apart, our research on technology has brought us together to bind as this active community. May Alasio get better and better. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's very interesting. So I'll post the question on the Slack and while I'm asking you. So the first one, um, I see that you mentioned the um, improvement was 2%. So is can you elaborate a little bit on like what's a challenge and how significant is that 2%? Just so people get some idea. Uh, you don't have to uh, say the baseline. Like, was it difficult to improve before? Um, yeah, so, uh, so, so uh, in the former uh, platform, we only support uh, a training of scales, uh, maybe later uh, at uh, hundreds of gigabytes level. So uh, even we uh, try different uh, training methods and uh, so the, the, <clears throat> the, the results of, of this uh, key uh, key 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 IOU cannot be improved further until we can use large scale of uh, uh, cross training, um, and this is only an intermediate result. So I believe once the training complete, the the IOU will further uh, which are high level improve. Yeah, cool. because as uh, Zifan said, before we use Alexo, uh, it cannot. Train train the model with more with large 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 data, so only with Alexa we can reach the two percent improvements. Yeah, improvements. Uh, also, <laughs> we, as we are not yeah. machine learning engineer, we actually don't know what's the actual needs, but uh, uh, they say that it's a big improvement. Great. Cool. Um, I'll ask one more question since I don't see another one on Slack. So, what's your next step? Uh, so, I will set late to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our roadmap is to, uh, with the help of the lecture, we want to make the uh, lecture to uh, land our 
huge cluster, you know, we have uh, uh, thousands of nodes. Uh, can you hear us right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we we want to build we want to build um, maybe hundreds or thousands of workers and a lot of clusters on our on our platform and also we want to uh, com uh, 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 try our best to make the electrical support maybe a trillion or maybe billion metadata yeah. yes. <laughs> and also, we want to make a uh, some hidden uh, data service in our platform, so the data set can be a um, can be a um, high, level. high level object for training, and uh, the user will only focus on their logic. Don't uh, don't have to worry about data reading anymore. Yeah, they read. they they read the data just like the, it's on the their local disk. Cool. Uh, we got one more question on the community channel. So in terms of supporting a large data set, is it in volume size or it's a number of files? A number of files, yeah. the, meta the metadata. Yes, it's only uh, from the current uh, experience, it's only about the metadata size. Yeah, millions. Yeah. It's now supports millions. Uh, 10 millions. 10 millions. 10 millions. 10 millions level. 10 millions level. Yeah, and we heard from Alasha that there is plan to support hundreds of millions so <laughs> or we are, even billions. <laughs> we are we are very looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> cool. I think that's all the question we have. Jasmine, to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jingwen and uh, Jasmine. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, Lei and Zifan and Jinwen. And again, if you have any more questions for our speakers, you can find them on our community Slack channel, along with all the Alexio uh, contributors um, on, on a general channel. And then, um, and then we have the Slack link right there. Uh, please don't hesitate to post your questions there. Um, and then you can always follow up uh, with other channels such as Twitter, at Alex where uh, the handle is at Alexio, and on LinkedIn.